know, just because you buy your phones and your tablets from Apple does not mean you have to buy your movies and TV shows from them as well. Connor Knighton says when it comes to your media purchases, think about thinking outside the box. So Connor, what's the deal? I'm a big Apple fan. I've got an iPhone, an iPad, a MacBook Air, and I buy and rent lots of movies and TV shows. So really, I am the ideal customer for iTunes. And I hardly ever use it. I buy all of my media on Amazon. For me, it's not about saving money. Typically, the prices are about the same. It's $3.99 to rent Blades of Glory in HD on iTunes, $3.99 on Amazon. The Heat is $9.99 on iTunes, same price on Amazon. When there is a price difference, I do find that Amazon typically wins. Back to the Future is $14.99 on iTunes, $12.99 on Amazon. But for me, the big difference is about the future. Amazon has an app for lots of devices. I can watch content I buy on Amazon, on my iPad, using Amazon's app. I can even stream it using Apple's AirPlay. But I can also watch it on my TiVo, my PlayStation, and through a web browser on my Windows PC. You can't do any of that with videos you buy on iTunes. If in the future I decide I want to incorporate more non-Apple devices, like a Samsung Galaxy, I'll still be able to play back what I purchased with Amazon. For example, why would I buy a book through iBooks, which I can only read on my Apple devices, when I could buy that same book via Amazon and still read it on my Apple devices through the Kindle app, but also, if I felt like it, read it on an actual Kindle? Apple is aware of this threat, so they don't make it easy to do this. If you're using Using an iPhone or an iPad, you can't purchase directly through Amazon's apps. You have to go to their website, make the purchase, and then a link will appear in the app. The experience of buying through iTunes is definitely more seamless. But to have content I can watch in more places on more devices, I'm willing to jump through that extra hoop. As a tablet, the iPad is way better than the Kindle Fire. But for now, I'll keep buying the movies I watch on it through Amazon.